All right, so I haven't made a programming exercise video in a really long time, but uh, that's because I haven't programmed in a while. Um, so I'm going to start making these exercise videos again to see if I can. It help. It motivates me to program more because I want to. Um, okay, so this is the exercise for the program. You're basically going to write. Um, a program that lets the user enter in a series of words, and then at the very end of it, it's going to output the longest and shortest word that was entered. So if you want to try it, go ahead and pause it or whatever, and go try it. And uh, if you get stuck or whatever, you can just come back, because I've already wrote mine. So here we go. Um, okay, the input-output stream, obviously. Uh, the string is going to be used to store or the data type for the words. Vector is going to be used to store the words. Um, okay, this vector is going to be used to store the words. Uh, string longest word is going to be used, obviously, to store the longest word that was entered. This one's going to be used to store the shortest word. String temp is going to be used to store the current word. And then int longest and shortest are going to be used to store the longest and shortest word character length. Um, <clears throat> to basically take in the user's input, what I did was I'm um, using a while loop. And what this does is it's basically going to take in all of the words the user enters in until they want to stop. And the way they do that is they press Control Z. And when they hit enter, the loop will break. Okay, so the first time, it's just going to start with the cursor blinking. And they're going to enter in a word. And it's going to go into this loop. And it'll, it'll store the word that they entered into the vector words. And then it's going to check if the word character length is longer than longest which is initialized, it starts at zero, so the first time it's going to be true if they enter in anything, which means that the longest word now becomes the word that they entered, and the longest character length is the word character length that they just entered. Um, what this basically does is if they enter, uh, the first time, this is how I get around using this. Um, if I didn't have this and I wanted to run this to see, you know, if it's the shortest word that they entered, but since it starts at zero, the value, um, it would never work. Because if they entered in any word, the length is going to be one or greater. So this would never run. What this does is, since this is going to run the first time, um, this will also run the first time because shortest does start at zero. And so basically all it does is it sets shortest uh, the character length of the word and the word itself to the first word that they enter and that way if they enter in anything shorter it has something to compare to and if they don't well then that means the first word that they entered was the shortest word and shortest word character length okay so after that um, you know the next time they enter in a word if it's not longer then it checks this one um, if it's the same it does nothing but if, it, if it's shorter than the shortest uh, character length, then it just assigns the shortest character length to the new word that they just entered, uh, word's character length, and then the word itself to the word that they just entered, so now that's the shortest word. Um, so it, that basically just keeps going back and forth until, you know, they press Control Z and they're done entering in the words. And then the loop breaks, it goes to this, this basically just outputs the words. Um, so it outputs the word, the first one and then this is just something I like to do basically what it does is it um, it I'm trying to think how to explain it it every time before the last iteration it puts a comma and a space to make it sort of look neater and then the very last time it just puts a period at the end so it you know, yeah it basically just makes it look neater and then after that it loop breaks and then it just outputs the longest and shortest word and the longest and shortest uh, word character length, their character lengths and then the program just ends. So I'll run it for you now. Let's see. Okay. Uh, so basically you just enter in anything. I can enter in anything. Okay, that's good. Control Z, press enter. This is the thing I was talking about with the commas, right? Longest word you entered was anything. 
with eight characters. The shortest word you entered in was I with one character. So you can see it works. Um, and that's it. Thanks.